Ladies and gentlemen, Halloween Horror Nights Week 2024 is sponsored by Dubby. Thank you so much for Dubby for uh, allowing us to be a part of this family. I've been drinking Dubby now for a few years, um, and it's been just a really, really good drink. No crashes or anything with 10 different flavors, two caffeine-free flavors, and a bunch of other ways for them to have that ultimate energy drink taste. Now, not only do they have all their energy drinks on their site, like the powders, all that stuff, but they also include shaker cups, and they got a ton of merch. That is a lot of fun. We're going to be getting our hands on some of that merch really soon. But, yeah, use code Knights of Horror for 10% off your order. W.GG. Check out their store, all their amazing products, but let them know Knights of Horror sent you. And use that promo code Knights of Horror for 10% off. Now, for your regularly scheduled program. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to the Nights of Horror. I am Rob, and uh, with Horror Nights fast approaching, we got a lineup of videos for you to kind of help you get through Horror Nights, um, you know, game plans, hype lists, best ticket options, and I fortunately enough I have the honor to do the best ticket option, uh, best bang for your buck, if you will, and I'm going to help you decide, if you're undecided, on what ticket to get. Now, let me first and foremost start off by saying uh, early entry. Now, early entry used to be kind of like a free thing when you bought your ticket. Not anymore. This is the second year that they're doing uh, a ticketed early entry, and that's going to range from $10 to $25. Again, um, this is going to be... Uh, it's going to give you an hour and a half uh, before the park opens. The park opens at 7, so about, I think uh, it's 5.30, they start letting you in. And I really do recommend this option just because you're going to be in the park before that 7 o'clock crowd comes in. So you have a little jump on on beating that crowd in so you can be in line already. And I really do recommend um, picking up this ticket option if you can uh they do sell out because there is a limited amount so they do sell out so if you have a day you're going i really recommend uh picking up the early ticket option because it will really uh help out just in not only avoiding that seven o'clock crowd but kind of getting you a little bit ahead and to decide uh what house you're going to hit up first and uh you know maybe you may not get in a house right away but at least you'll already be in line for a house the next option is the general admission ticket. So this is our first ticket option. Um, again, it gets you in at 7 o'clock, uh, and you're going to wait in line. You may not be able to get everything done, depending on what night you go, with the general admission <clears throat> ticket option. But this is something for, like, if you if you have a game plan and you know what you're going to do, um, it, so you, you want to try and plan it out or, you know, there's a lot of videos, especially uh, like here at the Knights of Horror, we're going to put out a, a game plan video. So you, I would recommend you checking that video out if you're going to get the general admission ticket option to kind of help you plan, uh, your attack of which house, uh, to hit first and kind of go and, and just, we have, a you know, everyone here has done it quite a few years and we have like really good, uh, game play, you know, Everyone, Hayes, Tony, Sammy, really, they get, come up with some really good game plans to kind of guide you using a general uh, general admission ticket option. So when that video comes out, highly re recommend checking it out. But your general admission ticket options go from seventy seven dollars to one oh seven. Now this is gonna then this goes for the majority of the tickets except with the frequent fear and the unlimited uh, fear. Um, they're going to range in price depending on what day you go and how far along in the season you go. Like if you're going uh, a, th uh, a Thursday night or a Sunday night in September, it's going to be a little lower. But if you go on a Saturday in October, um, ticket is going to be a little higher. So 77 to 107 for your general admission ticket. Again, this might be something like you and a bunch of buddies are like, hey, like let's go to Horror Nights. You got like 10 of you guys or, or eight of you guys. And you know you really didn't plan on spending a lot of money to go the general mission uh ticket option is a really good uh option for you guys something in that si uh, situation or scenario the next is the express ticket now this gives you a one-time uh kind of cutting the the wait time very very short uh, almost to the front of the line uh for all the haunted houses 
and for the rides that they have open. Now, this is going to range from $229 all the way to $309. Again, this is going to depend on what day you go and how far along in the season your ticket uh, is going to cost. Again, this is, um, you know, if you're going one day and you want to try and get everything done, uh, I've done this ticket and I've always uh, accomplished everything that they've had there. So this is a good option. Maybe you and some buddies, you're planning on going. Um, this is something to go. I highly recommend uh, if you're going to get this option or one of the, maybe the, even the unlimited option, get them really soon because I know they're selling out. So by the time this video comes out, um, I don't know the first. I know right now the first weekend is for Express is sold out. So just you know, if you plan on doing it, get your ticket soon. Now the next one is Unlimited Express. Now that's exactly what uh, Express is, except you get unlimited. Uh, pretty much like front of the line to the rides and the haunted houses. So you want to go all out. If you plan on going maybe like one night and this is, or maybe a couple nights, but you want one, you want to get everything done for sure in one night. The Unlimited Express is a excellent option and you get to do it multiple times. So let's just say you liked a haunted house you went to. Let's just say you're a big fan of the Ghostbusters Frozen Empire and you want to do it again. Well, just jump right in line. Your line's gonna, your line time is going to be significantly shorter than the Adrenaline Mission. So this is a really good option if you plan on doing the haunted houses several times. I highly recommend that. And that's, again, that's going to be uh, from $269 up to $349 depending on what day you go and how far along in the season. Now, this is a good option if you are, <clears throat> if you've not done the park or you like to do some of the Universal Studio daytime options that they have, the after 2 p.m. day-night combo, which is from $117 through $167. Again, what day you're going, how far along in the season. And they also have an express after 2 p.m. day night combo, which you get into the park again, you know, you get into the park, you get to do your thing. The express gives you a one time front of the line kind of, you know, for the rides and the, the haunted houses. So that the express day night combo is $289 and it runs up to $389. So again, this is if you you want to do maybe you want to do Nintendo World or you want to go and do kind of uh, the Harry Potter area and during the daytime this is a good option uh, for you to check out because you get a little bit of the daytime activities and then you get to be in the park for the for the obviously the horror nights and the haunted houses and you get that one time express so again. The regular day night combos 117 to 167, and the express uh, day night combo is 289 to 389. So, um, really good. There's some options right there for you if you know you just got to figure out which one's best for you. You know, again, if you're going with a bunch of friends and you really just want to hang out, general admission is a good option. If you want to get everything done um, in one night, express or unlimited express. And if you're just like, hey, I want to do some of the daytime stuff and the nighttime stuff, you the day-night combo, um, really good option. Now, if you're just like, hey, I'm balling, you know, this is the year, I'm going all out, you have the RIP tour. Again, depending on what day you're going to go and how far along in the season, this is going to range you from $409 to $509. Now, that's that's a hefty it's a hefty price right there, but you know some of the some of the things that come with the RIP is there's uh, you know you get a, a tour with a group, you get a, a guide, a guided tour. You're gonna pretty much go to the front of the line. It's unlimited uh, access to that express area. Um, there's a there's a food you get food like a buffet area, um, and I'm pretty sure if I read it correctly. There's a valet parking included with this ticket option. So, again, if you're just like, I want to go all out, this is the year, I'm doing it, me and a few friends are going to just, we're balling. Highly recommend, if you can do it, the RIP tour. This is actually the first year that I'm getting to do the RIP tour. So, I'm really excited about that. I can't wait to see what it's like. So, definitely, if uh, you got the funds, I know not everyone does. Um, if you got the funds uh, 
it's a good option. You get some food, you get parking, and unlimited access uh, to the, that, that express line. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I was talking with Tony, and because I know Tony's done it, you get a uh, you get a guide to kind of take you to each uh, haunted house and and you know certain areas, certain photo ops that aren't uh, accessible to the general admission or even the express crowd that they kind of save for the RIP, uh, ticket, ticket purchasers. So that's something to look forward to if you do that. Now, if you are going to be there a lot of nights, you got two options. If you plan on being there every night, there's one option for you. And if you plan on being there a bunch of nights, there's another option for you. So you have the frequent fear pass which is going to cost you $179 and that gets you access to 33 nights. Now those 33 nights are going to you got to look at the calendar, they'll show you what what days you can come, but that's if you're just like, you know what? I'm going to go I'm going to go for a month. I got a, you know, 30 days, 33 days and I'm going to try and go every one of those days. If you're diehard, you're you're going to get that one or the unlimited frequent fare, which is going to cost you two hundred and ninety nine dollars. And if I did my calculations correctly, that is 40 nights. So the frequent fare is thirty three nights and the uh, unlimited frequent fare is 40 nights. So, you know what, if, if you're you're the diehard uh, Horror Nights fan and you, that's your place and that's where you're going this is the only option for you. It's the frequent fare or the unlimited frequent fare. You're going to get access to to 40 nights or 33 nights of horror nights. And, you know, you're going to have a great time. So those are all the options. Um, you know, just some side notes here. Just kind of my uh, little things that, that I've seen throughout the years. Uh, especially now, uh, one thing I will say, like the general, I think if you're going to get a general admission ticket, you gotta, you gotta couple that with the early entry ticket, just cause I feel like now with early entry being something you paid for, um, there, it's a good option to have together because you it's going to kind of help you get at least maybe one or two haunted houses done before the actual general admission crowd comes in, or they should say they open up to the seven o'clock crowd and they come in, you at least can get one or two houses done. Um, so that, that's just, you know, a little side note for me, uh, as far as, you know, that option, but you know what, um, if you can do, if you can do express or, or, or unlimited express, Highly recommend it if you're just trying to get the stuff, you know, all the house, haunted houses done, being able to see the shows and just not really, you know, and kind of hang out in the scare zones and check those out. Um, you really don't have to stress too much about kind of time crunching with the Express or Unlimited Express or even the uh, the RIP tour. Now, the RIP tour is just kind of it's in an echelon of itself because, you know, you're getting food and a guided tour and and, you know, unlimited unlimited kind of Express. So that's it's its own thing right there. But you know, general admission, I say couple that with, with early entry. And then, uh, you know, it, it, again, if you're really looking, I want to enjoy some of the daytime activities and, and the nighttime activities, you got the, the day night combo. So there's a lot of options for you there. Um, if you've done it before, what, you know, what do you recommend? What, what do you think? What's the best, uh, ticket for you? Like me, I typically get unlimited express this year. I decided, Hey, you know what? I've never done another RIP tour. Let's try it out. Let's see. Let's let's see how this is. Um, so I'm excited for that. But let me know what ticket do you uh, typically get? Uh, was this video helpful helpful for you? Because hopefully, um, you know, I can give you some knowledge and uh, helping you decide what what ticket is best to help you enjoy your visit to Horror Nights. But um, you just want to say Haunt Season's here, and we're super excited here at the Nights of Horror. Um, again, we got videos coming out for you, you know, just kind of hype list. And I really, really highly recommend, um, I know Tony, uh, is going to have, I'm not sure who, who I think Hayes is probably going to do it, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I might be jumping the gun here, but, uh, uh, check out their, their like plan of attack video. Like, you know, how to get through, uh, horror nights with a general emission ticket. Cause I know Tony's going to put one of those out. Um, so you got to watch that, uh, cause they do it, they do it every year and it's really, really informative, kind of like how to guide you, uh, through this crowded event and get the best out of it with a general admission ticket. Um, you know, for the express people, I, I, not, 
you know, you really don't need like a plan of attack. Just I'm gonna go in this house and that's it. But for the general admission people, look out for that video coming because it's really informative. It's gonna help you get through it and enjoy. You're gonna have a good time. Watch that video and and just kind of follow the path that they give you because they do this every year. Um, you know, they're they're veterans of how to get through horror nights on a general admission ticket. So I highly recommend when they uh, put that video out, check it out, study it, and then uh, use it because you're gonna it's gonna help you enjoy your night at a horror nights. But anyways, I'm Rob. This has been the Howling Hour, uh, and uh, it's spooky, spooky season, man. Like, Horror Nights is here, and, and now all the other haunts are going to start up. So, um, so remember, uh, keep it spooky. <coughs> Sorry, I just coughed, so...